So this is part two about the, uh, and boy, I'm, I'll try to pronounce this, the Palatalakaha Environmental and Agricultural Reserve, PEAR, P-E-A-R, in uh, Lake County, Florida. Um, th so this is part two of that video. I just figured I'd better make a quick introduction because I posted the first video about a week ago. So uh, be sure and go back and watch the first video. But I thought this video was actually better because <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> I'm wandering around going, man, I'm never going to get back to the car. Oh, my God. I, you know, I'm just not in that good a shape where I can hike for long periods of time. But anyway, luckily it was a good day and it wasn't too hot. So let's just read you about the, uh, the park here. Uh, Pear Park is located along the, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, the Patalakakaha River and encompasses 318 acres. The park is divided into two distinct sections consisting of the Passive Recreation Wildlife Conservation Area and the Gateway, which is a combination of active recreation and natural areas. Because there are, uh, well, in the first video I showed you, there's some pickleball courts there. Uh, you got a dog park. Uh, there's also a baseball field. And by the baseball field, as you come in the, the first entrance, uh, heading south on 27, uh, if you go, the, go down a dirt road, you get to the baseball field, and that's where the bathrooms are located. A lot of people want to know that. By the way, no, no dogs in the park. I always try to point that out. Now, of course, you got the dog park. I guess that's how they kind of said, okay, you can't take the dogs on the trails, but you can enjoy the dog park, which is, which is the way really all parks should do. You know, I think that, because, uh, you know, there, there's always that scumbag that doesn't pick up the poop and leaves it sitting out for, for somebody to ride their bicycle through or step in. It's disgusting. Uh, and plus, I'm not sure how environmentally friendly it is to take these doggy bags and throw it into a garbage can. You know, if, if I'm out in the forest, I just grab it with a latex glove and throw it off into the forest. I mean, think about it. The deer poop in the forest, the bear poop in the forest, a little bit of dog poo in the forest. You know, what the hell? Uh, but just make sure you get it out of the way of the trail so that people, I mean, I'm going to tell you what. Have you ever stepped in dog poo? It's like concrete, man. It just kind of adheres to the bottom of the shoe. So we're going to just read just a little more. I don't want to get too much into the introduction. In the past, the land was used for timber resources and grazing cattle, as well as experimental agriculture research station operated by the University of Florida beginning in 1929. Wow, a long time ago, huh? During its 71 years of operation, the station conducted numerous studies of plant breeding and, and, and pathology, although most of the agriculture act activities have been discontinued. Oral, Orville J. Walter Heritage Grape arbor remains yeah this little uh, portion at the it, at the second exit which is or, or the second entrance which is university drive uh, if you go in there they do have a little uh, area for probably the local residents there's a community nearby uh, where they can do some stuff uh, so i'm not going to get too much more into the introduction let's just watch the hike peace out stay free funny the last time i was here i never even saw this i was over here isn't it funny how you come back to a place and you find stuff? Of course, we're coming in from a different angle. But uh, look at here. So, and they definitely don't want dogs in here. <laughs> There's a lot of new dog signs. I don't, I don't even remember what this is. This looks like a little parking area of some sort. And why is this open area here? I guess you could come in here maybe and throw a frisbee around, I suppose. I don't know. I can't imagine what this little open area is. All right, riddle me this one, Batman. Because, uh, I mean, you had this little hiking trail coming in from the north. And then you got these little trails here. But there's two handicapped parking spaces here. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Well, maybe a gun. Well, they're, I mean, they're big enough for a car. How would you get a car back here? I don't see a road anywhere. I don't know. Let's... Uh, Let's show you the, the little shelter coming up here. Uh, this is this is on your way out of that parking lot in the other direction that we didn't go. Now I don't know what they're doing here. Maybe just for watering. Wait a minute, but why is... I mean, it's not catching rain. I don't know. There's a blue jack oak. But I just, I'll just walk on over here and show you this real quick. So we won't have to hit it on the way back around 
This is, I think this is what they call the butterfly garden here. It's a pretty neat little area where you could come have, oh yeah, this is definitely the butterfly. I was in here. I went, I went the other direction. I didn't even see that that went over there. But see how, see how they got the butterflies up top here? Or, well, just the, yeah, you can see it. So it's pretty cool and you could just sit in here and read a book. Be a really nice day. If you, if you live close by here, a little bit of storage right here. But you see what I mean? Where, do you, where are you bringing the car in at? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and there's a little bench right over here in the weeds. And there's another one over here. Okay, well, let's get on on the trail and uh, and then I'll, I'll swing it on back around and I'll show you that rock garden. You know what? It just hit me. It just hit me. That neighborhood over here is a golf cart community that uh, that you have to drive through to get here. So I assume that, you know, they have this little butterfly area for the handicapped people that can bring their golf carts in here. And then they can bring their golf, because this is wide enough for a golf cart. Uh, of course, just here you're supposed to just be hiking, but yeah, that's how you get there. That that makes sense. That makes sense. Dang on us, because I was, I, you know, you saw back there at the main road that, or the main parking area, there was no no golf carts. So I was like, you know, cause you can't rent one or anything, but yeah, that neighborhood, they could bring their golf carts in here. Okay, we got it. Let's get the ants on the video. I want to get it right down there next to them. Cool, huh? Well, I'm still on this trail coming down from the uh, the butterfly center there. It's just, uh, it's funny, they got this trail marked everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, how could you ever get off trail with this trail, you know, considering some of the stuff I hiked. But uh, anyway, we're just about done for the day. So, I'm <clears throat> see, here's another cut down into what I call the wooded trail along the side here. And then this is the trail that we were on uh, where we hit, we went up that way and then came around and, and showed you the uh, the parking area and the bathroom. And so now we're, rather than go into the woods, I'll do that on the way back out. We're gonna go this way, but I wanted to show you this tree. Look at that thing. And this was as far as I made it the last time. I remember now, this is where I turned around. Cool, huh? Habitat for wildlife. Okay, so I just came down that, <clears throat> another birdhouse. And this is the way we're going to go back, or some of the way back. And uh, and then this is going to loop us right back to the rock area. And I wanted to show you, see, here's the neighborhood I was talking about. That's you can that's a golf cart neighborhood. And so that's where that uh, where they can bring their golf carts in to the park here. If you wanted to live out this way, I, that would be a good neighborhood to live in, I would think. You know, I, I don't think it's like a retirement. Well, I mean, it's a retirement community. It just may not have the amenities that, like the villages or a Del Webb or a Top of the World or any of that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wait till we get to the rock garden because this is going to more or less look like this all the way there because I've hiked this before. And uh, we'll get that on the video and that'll be it until we dive back into the woods. Or unless we see something fun, like a animal out here, maybe, wouldn't it be great to see a gator? That'd be awesome. Well, I thought this was a cool look. I remembered this as you're kind of hiking in through the the bushy trees. There's actually a sign up here that tells you what these are. I don't know if I get it on the video. I just wanted to get a, a clip as we're hiking along. It's a... It's a bit of a haul to get to the rock garden, and then I got to do all this again <laughs> so, on the way back. So I'm I'm going to be tired. It's been a it's been a long day for me. So that was a Chapman's oak that we were walking through back there. Just wanted to get one clip. If you come in through the rock garden and not come down that trail on the back side of the buildings, you can get to the butterfly garden hiking up this trail. That we're going down to get to the rock garden so there's a there's the whole butterfly area which is cool so we've got just a little ways to go and then i'll show you what that looks like it's a really cool area uh, if i lived in that neighborhood i would want a plaque in here because uh, it's it's people that buy little plaques uh you know to be in remembrance of 
So we made it back to the main parking area here and I just wanted to show you, you see those plaques on the trees? I think that's, well those might be describing what they are, but they've got these uh, benches in here. See how in the neighborhood you could just bring your golf cart down here and sit at one of these benches or hike up to that butterfly place. There's the uh, bathroom in the main building right over there, but this is what I was talking about. You see how these people, they bought a brick in memory of Florida Trail Association members Highlands chapter. It's got the, their names in here. I always like to see that. But this, I, well, I call it the rock park. I guess it's just kind of more or less a park. I don't know why I thought there were rocks in here. But they do have a, uh, we'll, we'll walk on over here. They got a garden that, the, well, uh, it's pretty dead. But there's a garden, a vegetable garden over here. I don't know if that's for the community or they just do it. Probably the community comes in here and, uh, you know, grows tomatoes and stuff like that. Because there's some stuff growing in there. I just don't feel the need to walk over there. Ah, what the hell. Let's go over there. I'll show you. And see, this is what I want to do someday. See those raised beds? But I got an HOA, and they won't let you do that. My backyard's too small, but we can dream. I don't know, I can't see me moving out of my house to some place where I could have a raised bed unless, well, what I thought is here in Florida, someday if, uh, if the stock market crashes and we do have a run on precious metals, I should be able to afford just a plot of land. These are uh, grapevines. You can see how the community can come in right here and just get to the get in here to pick some grapes or uh, or take care of these gardens I don't know what what these plants are wish they had signs in here that'd be cool wouldn't it you can see the cages and I don't know if that would have been tomatoes there maybe they've got some stuff growing here that looks like lettuce there so imagine you get quite a harvest out of there just wonder who uh, who comes in here and most people are not into gardening but that's it and then I don't know why they have this fence coming around right here to keep you out of the the um, the area but if you did just want to walk around and read what each of these trees are uh, if the thing is they tell you what the tree is but they don't tell you how big the sucker's going to get you know I want to plant some trees around my house but I got to know the details you know how big does it get you know does it is it easy to maintain does it attract butterflies you know the little teeny plaques that just tell you what they are don't do no damn good except to tell you if they try to remember what the heck they're called all right that's just about it for the video we'll probably get a couple more clips hiking through the woods boy i'm tired i got a long hike back <laughs> i'm gonna go all the way around this place and through the woods with a little red riding hood <laughs> yeah yeah all right, way off in the distance up here is a rabbit. I don't know how close we're going to get to him. The other thing I wanted to tell you is the birds. There's a lot of bird watching in here. Unfortunately, I haven't had any really good shots to get on the video. I've just, you know, I come across them. Like, there's a beautiful cardinal back there, all red. But uh, sometimes you can get pretty close to these rabbits. Let's see how we do. I'll cut the clip on when I get closer. He's just sitting there. Can't believe we got that close holy moly there he is right over there wow i, I could have almost reach out and pet the little thing gosh dang that was cool you see him back there that's what i was talking about with the birds see him hopping around there was a bunch more i scared him off coming up and there's one over here well i don't see him all right so i did see i'm not lying to you you get a lot of burden in here. Check out this little guy. See him? Green bird on the branch. Oh, damn it. He's hopping away from me. There he goes. There he goes. Now we got a good view of him. There you go. Up. 
it just keeps moving away from me. All right. Wait a minute. I got a good view, but damn it. There he goes. All right, that's good enough. Whew, I am tired. Oh, check him out and turtle. I was just getting ready to show you we're going to dive down into there. Well, let's get the turtle on the video. Check him out. Check him out. I hate scaring him. He'll be able to track into a shell here in just a minute. Yeah, see? There you go, little guy. He ain't going to bother you. Hello, Mr. Turtle. All right, let's get a little closer. Yeah, see, I don't want to scare him too much. All right, let's leave the turtle alone. All right, so coming in at the beginning of the trail, you've got the little sign here that says E. And then you could come down here, and I didn't do this the last time I was here, but I'm pretty sure this is just going to lead right over into this neighborhood. And uh, I'm pretty tired, but we're going to get this whole place in one way or another. I mean, no, well... When I say or another, <laughs> I might, I might, it might take me till dark to get out of here because I'm so dang on tired. I'm moving at about one mile an hour. So let's take a look. See the, see the swampy area here. That's uh, sawgrass, yeah, right there. And then we got one more sign up here. Let's take a look. Boy, that is beautiful though. Weird how you can go from that field to area. This is a Carolina willow. Which one? Maybe I guess this one over here, maybe, or down there. All right, get, getting buzzed by some mosquitoes, some skeeters. There you This could be another, <laughs> another long trail. I'm not, you know, well, I see a house up here, so this is probably going to come out to either a road or a parking area. Let's check it out, because I can't go much further. And that way we will, we will have covered this entrance to the neighbor, from the neighborhood to the park. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> it just it just ends at a bench, and the sign says "end of trail." So I guess this is just a meant to be a picnic area. I don't know why. Why wouldn't you put a little picnic table right here? I mean, you wouldn't want to do it right now. The skeeters are out, but this would be a great place to have a picnic. And the houses you can see are just back here. I always hate seeing that tire right there. People just throw the trash everywhere. Okay, so that's it for that little trail. I don't know if you can see him. See that bird? See him in there? There he goes. All right, I just thought I'd give you one look at the bird, and then uh, this is what the trail will more or less look like most of the way back. I'm going to take that third turn and go up and make sure that I'm right, that that was the straight-ahead fork in the beginning, and rather than, you know, because we went to the right, and that should, as far as I know, I've walked everything in here. So, yeah, this is just, and there's along here, I'm not gonna do it, but you can kind of get down to the water and there's a bench down here where you could sit and have a picnic and look out over the swampy water. But unfortunately, there's only a limited amount of time during the year that you can do that. Cause the mosquitoes, you know, here we are in October and they're not thick or anything. They're not bothering me, but I mean, Good Lord, if you want to sit around in the summertime, you get eaten alive. Oh yeah, I had to get this on the video. <laughs> it's like, first time I hiked this, I was like, what in the hell is this sign? No trespassing owned by Lake County. It's a sign facing all this vegetation. I mean, what's the point of that sign? And it faces away from the trail. So you can't even, you can't even see it as you're walking down the trail. Look at that. I always got to get the weird stuff on the video. This is a cool view because the sun is setting and it's kind of hitting the trail as we're moving along. Boy, look at that. That's a, well, there's a, a bird. I don't know if you could see him for a minute. <laughs> it was moving like about a thousand miles an hour. I think he could have been competing with one of those Soviet, uh, what do they call them? See, here's another no trespassing sign. Uh, it could have been once upon a time there was something coming down through here for the neighborhood to get in here. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. So let's get this on here. As we move along, we're just kind of going along the water here. Well, that is really stagnant. But I thought that was a good, cool view with it going around, kind of seeing back in there. Yeah. 
but uh, we've just come down that a lot of these oak trees and limbs really go on you got to go underneath them like that <laughs> I feel like uh, what was that in King Arthur when he goes yeah whoa, whoa like that and when the lightning bolt hit near him so that's exactly what I was talking about with the limbs and how you go underneath them pretty cool I think we're coming up to where I'm going to turn off the trail shortly and uh, and then we'll see if that takes us back to the main area so this is a great place for a bench huh look at that I think we might have got that on the way out well, I came up here it said 2c we might have come up one early but I just wanted to get out of the woods skeeters are getting a little thick in the evening here and with the with the wind died down got a butterfly tracking along beside us so I'll wait till we get to the section that'll be new and we'll get some more clips there on the final section of the trail so now I'm really tired so 2c was leading me astray it's taking me back to the the picnic pavilion so we're backtracking back to the woods so at least now you know 2c <laughs> yeah I know look at the map look at the map that's no fun I like to see if I can figure these things out I'm gonna tell you I am tired now, that's flipped around and it says 2b sit down here and look at the map but I'm pretty sure I should be going right up here making a left and that'll take us back to the car let's check the map all right I'm rolling the dice I think I got myself oriented now that's the way we went I think that's the way I might have been coming up. We'll see. I think it might have brought me up over here. So here we are back at the the pavilion. But from what I can tell, I could stay along the woods and get back to where the parking lot is. But I'm going to take this trail just because we haven't taken it. And I did get a little rest on that bench. I uh, didn't bring any water today because you didn't think I'd need it. But man, when you've been out hiking three hours, even though it's a perfect day, Ooh, I'm looking for I got three bottles of water in that car I'm gonna drink every single one of them so let's see if this goes on by the pavilion and keeps on going back to the other parking lot I think it does and that will I pretty much as far as I can tell we've hiked everything in here at that point so let's go on this way success all right now I completely understand this part I could have just kept going on that other one instead of backtracking, but I don't know. I got a little disoriented there. But you can see there's the little picnic shelter there. We're going to get some water, and then I want to show you the dog park. And uh, there's supposed to be a, a historic bridge at A, and that's right around the dog park. So I'm going to walk around there just for a few, drinking water, guzzling down, guzzling down water, and uh, we'll get a couple shots in there. Hold on. All right, so we just came down that. Remember in the very, very beginning, and we took a right and went that way. So I was correct. That did. That was the way back down. And then here's the the little picnic shelter. Going here in just a minute. Well, I wanted to summarize P E A R Park. Great place to bring like a church club or whatever. When I mean, you're not deep in the woods, you know we're right next to 27 right here. Do have a dog park they do have pickleball courts and a picnic pavilion be an outstanding place just to to hike to it's a very short hike from this parking lot and, and the other parking lot that, that i showed you or you can park right at the pavilion that bridge that we went across that was the historic bridge i <laughs> i didn't i thought for sure it was some sort of other bridge but uh, that was a while back but almost back felt like at the beginning on the way back so that's it for the day. I, I highly recommend a visit here. Uh, you spend a day. I enjoyed it. I wish I had brought some food and could have a picnic, but I tell you what, I am, I'm ready to get home and watch some TV and just drink some lemonade. Peace out. Stay free.